the bandicoot is back and it's full of nostalgia. So let's talk about Wake up! Crash 4 is a platform adventure game developed by Toys for Bob and published by Activision. The game is its 8th main installment to the Crash Bandicoot series as it follows where Bandicoot Warp has left off. You play as the Handy Bandicoot or his sister Coco, Dingo, and who owns the restaurant and even Dr. Neo, the Cortex. The story is everyone that I just mentioned involved in coding to this alternate dimension universe counterpart of the world and picking up these powerful quantum masks something from out of a story like Marvel. Neo court tax gets played and now Dr. Nefarious is the bad guy and everyone must join in together to stop him. That is the story. The graphics of this game speaks to my inner child as I grew up playing the Bandicoot, so the environments of the top of the line physics gave me joy. However, the style of play that the game took place for this bit is kind of wacky and somewhat shallow, as the beginnings leave to the beginning levels leave more of the middle and of more of a hindrance to gaming as you can literally have no effort as you get through the beginning levels up into the mi middle as they're just an introduction to the skin game which is prevalent more than ever upon booting up Crash 4. Greeting unto the menus, I thought what this would look like is a middleware mobile game as the way of the menus look and how there's a skin selection. I was just kind of personally waiting for a premium currency to pop up and say, hey, buy these skins, but I'm happy they refused to go that route and instead they lock skins to all achievables beside a small handful that are rewards if you bought the digital deluxe upgrade version with the skins of the way the games are. They are a way to beginner have these middle levels are all structured for you to try to get everything so you can obtain such skins wherever the game does get difficult during the Crash Bandicoot when you get to the very end. So it gets difficult as what I was trying to say is it's getting it gets difficult to how Crash originally felt like back on the PlayStation days. But they sign to save that and hold no punches until the very end where they try to throw everything at you at once. During my playthrough of this game I crashed only once and had to replete a level but I never had any frame rate issues or glitches or any bugs after that crash. The game runs smooth as butter and I feel all the nostalgic as ever. The boss fights are more Marvel because the game is a story because the game has a story full of wit and comedy reflect but the mechanics of the boss and themselves never feel like they're overpowered and it does provide some challenging challenges the game does become quite humorous like I said through their witty story and there's tons of replayability in this game if you're a hundred percent or there's two different modes per level with this inverted mode that flips the level and adds an extra layer of difficulty with a filter plus there's videotape levels where if you access those tapes as long as you haven't died before picking them up there gives you more additional difficulty and more achievable skins to unlock. There's tons of skins for each character. It has various stages where you can see what character did what to help Crash and Coco. I'm trying to refrain from too much major spoilers. And it gets to the point where I didn't think the game was going to end because of the curveball surprises they kept throwing at me here. So we here at NGI give Crash 4 and 8 out of 10. Make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like and as always subscribe god bless and peace it's about time we find the evil masterminds neocortex and dr entropy escaping a once thought inescapable interdimensional prison leaving giant holes in the universe what follows is a mind-bending adventure for crash and his marsupial pals